My name is Keith Willey. I am a metal detectorist slash treasure hunter slash you lost something, I find it. I would say the older the house, the better chances there are of something being there. See, this is the, this is the problem. My dad just had to go and do this kind of crazy crap. Drive me ah! fucking crazy. Think about it. A house that's built in the 50s, uh, you know, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, when there was fear of nuclear fallout, that was one time period where, you know, we're, we're coming out of the Great Depression, coming out of World War II, heading into a scary potential wartime with, you know, nucle potential nuclear fallout. Um, President Kennedy offering the fallout shelter program which actually financially helped people build these fallout shelters in their backyard so there was a lot of fear driven through that time period if you guys have never been inside of a fallout shelter it's a little bit eerie i mean think about it people built this because of potential war times and they were going to hide in it with their family so as you could imagine as you could see from the photos they degrade over time and it could be a pretty creepy place to explore if you guys like to see treasure hunt videos, exploring old forgotten places like this, time capsules, guns, ammunition, this is your kind of video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming treasure hunts. In this fallout shelter, we didn't actually find any hidden valuables. We did find some cool old survival tools and some medicine bottles. The real fun began when we got outside of the fallout shelter. Lost valuables or hidden fortunes are probably the most common thing that people are after. But there are other things you can find. For example, the International Time Capsule Society says that there are roughly 15,000 time capsules that have not been found throughout the world. In Ridgefield, Connecticut, doing a treasure hunt. A gentleman has some valuable property that was hidden, buried by his father. Got a signal under this stone right here. I think there might be a time capsule or something under it. So we've been chiseling away at it. Well, there it is. Whatever it is, it's got some wood in here or something. Oh, like a box? Yeah, it's wood. You need me to make it a little, uh, a little bigger piece of wood with something underneath it. That's a fat piece of wood. What the hell did he put in here? It's cloth. No, that's rotted wood. That's a fat piece of wood. And that's not. Take some more of the stone out. Wood's in decent shape. Yeah, this piece is pretty solid though. So papers. This is supposed to be what he wrapped it in. Yeah, okay, I can feel it now. Yeah. Yeah, this goes down pretty deep. You want me to widen it? Yeah. See, this is the, this is the problem. My dad just had to go and do this kind of crazy crap. Drive me ah! crazy. Not quite big enough. Looks like that's the end of the hole right there, though. Yeah, there's just a couple pieces of wood over here on the end. I get a ton of questions on the type of equipment that I use to conduct these treasure hunts, whether they're outdoors, indoors, fallout shelters, it doesn't matter. So what I started doing is including links to the gear that I use down in the YouTube description below. Make sure to check that out if you're trying to do this stuff yourself. We finally broke through the last piece of wood and got to the good stuff hidden inside the small cavern. There's another one. Is there another one? Yeah. Jeez. There's two more. Wow. He, uh, there's your hat, I think. Yeah. He stuffed this thing full. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's heavy. And then the hole's not big enough. I gotta get a razor knife out of my car. Maybe I can cut the plastic off, because it's too... The first couple of layers inside this time capsule were stores of food, 
but underneath the stores of food were protection for this family. Now it's all one big piece. It's just completely rotted apart. Can we trim this out so we can get the whole thing out? And some mittens. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. That's priceless. That's what I was talking about. There's some kind of manual. Yeah. Maybe a Bible or something. There's a piece of a piece of hope, sir. In total, this survival time capsule had two 32 caliber antique pistols, ammunition, it had a hat, a Bible, had some wheat germ, beans, and some mittens. Although these things were a little weathered, ah, let's be real, they were completely destroyed by the weather over the last couple of decades. But good intentions were there. This gentleman wanted to take care of his family in a survival situation, so he made a time capsule for them. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more treasure hunts, ring finds, and just metal detecting in general, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and leave me a comment. Also, if you want to learn more about these antique firearms, maybe I'll interview an expert. Leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see.